I don't know, this could be a trend. These quick off-the-cuff videos. Well, the difference between last video and this video is there's something a little more permanent by way of the framework I'm starting to build. And these are the, what do they call that? Floating shelves? Is that what they call it? Floating shelves, and it's done by way of these things. I'll show you how I did it. This is your back rail, and it's mounted to the studs. See, that's where I marked the stud. Basically, I'm just mounting these to this back rail, and then I'm able to build my framework on top of it, like this. As you can see, and then I have some cross pieces that can be moved. Everything in here can be moved, and it's built with the Craig Screw construction method, as I have explained in like a million other videos. And this top gator board is actually going to be the sub-road bed, and it works great, as does the gator board for the Helix. Temporary bridges here. Until I get it sorted out and see what I want to do. The track obviously is in a temporary position and it's pinned down. But it works great to be able to see what track configuration you might want. That sort of thing. And I just kind of have two passing sidings set up so I can run up and down. But that's not bad. This is a 6 inch. The, the wood's, wood's very expensive right now, but I'm going to run it all the way down to the wall, have this shelf layout. Let's get a measurement. And we got a measurement of 24 blah, blah, blah feet. So add in 66 inches back here, and that's your run. Now, if I do put another helix down at this end, and I mentioned that in the last video where I may have a second one where we can do continuous run. I do have space here on the floor that I can have a temporary one sit out on a table. That is very light. I mean, I, I literally, with the track on it, can pick this up with one hand and carry it around. But I do have it, I have it mounted to the table, and I'll secure it. And this one will always probably stay here, but I can move it if I need to move it. As you can see, the shop is back to being a mess. I have <laughs> had to move everything over to get a clear shot out here. But once I get everything squared away, there'll be plenty of room in here. And we do have our LED lighting up here. And then we also have rope lighting that we had on the other layout that we're going to put up under here. There will be backdrops here and up here, obviously. And we're probably, I don't know if I have a piece. No, I don't have a small enough piece. But I'm probably going to put one by threes in a vertical position across and then run gator board all the way across that. And you can certainly do that with any kind of paneling, masonite, that sort of thing. Now I want to show you something. This little guy started life as an MTH Premier GP7. It's one of those three rail, two rail conversion capable units. You know where you can flip a switch and run it on DCC two rail track. First order of business was to swap out those giant high rail wheel sets. Not only are they not in actual scale, but as most of you probably know, they don't play well with two rail O-scale turnouts. Now for you eagle-eyed folks, yes, I did eliminate the truck-mounted swing couplers by fabricating a spacer to fit in between the front porch and pilot assembly, and you can see that here. And here you can see where I mounted an aftermarket coupler. I have to say, it's not that hateful looking, at least I don't think it is. As you'll notice, I haven't extended the railing down yet. What? You didn't notice that? <laughs> come on. I guess I don't have to explain the whole TCS wow sound decoder. It's the 5 amp version, and you can listen for yourself. So if you're interested, the rest of the video is simply riding down the helix in a gondola. Great fun, like a hayride. And I have to say, I don't mind this off-the-cuff video-making thing. It makes it easier for me. It takes up less time. Maybe I can do it more often. That'd be great.
be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and share the hobby. This is Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.